Chapter 1 Fear A storm is gathering in the north. The sky has turned a threatening shade of indigo, as if a large bottle of ink has been spilled on the horizon. The swirling cotton-like textures of a hurricane is visible in the distance. Like so many merciless spider webs, they seek to ensnare the world and consume it. To the south, it is no different. There is no hint of mercy, no suggestion of pity. A deep red shadow creeps upward through the sky as the fiery hot air begins to overwhelm the sweet oxygen we breathe. The massive volcanoes have begun to murmur their ancient mantras, seducing their all-consuming lifeblood to the surface. Their gaping mouths smolder as the bile of molten lava slowly bubbles forth. We turn our heads to the east. Massive waves of water have begun opening their wide arms, ready to embrace and smother the world. The waves are raving with fury. They seek to destroy. They wish to conquer. The ground has begun shaking in the west. It is making the core of the earth tremble. It is making Earth Mother cry out with pain. We gather on the streets. We stand in one giant circle. One by one, like waves in the ballpark, we begin holding each other's hands firmly. Families, couples, and screaming teenagers. A businessman in his Louis Vuitton suit looks at a weeping little girl who does not want to let go of her teddy bear. The man gives her a smile and she stops crying. Now she understands. There is nothing to fear. She offers the man the arm of her plush toy as she continues holding tightly to the other arm. Grown up by inanimate object, inanimate object by child. Ages, genders, religions, and colors are all standing hand in hand, waiting for their moment to come, waiting for the sky to fall.